Good morning, students. Today we are going to continue with the chapter interrogative sentences. So open your book New Grammar Magic at page hundred. Earlier we have learned that how to change an assertive sentence into an interrogative sentence. Like, see the first sentence. They will go to the cinema today. Now in this sentence, will is the helping verb. So we will place will in the beginning and insert question mark at the end. And the sentence interrogative will be, will they go to the cinema today? Question mark. See the second sentence also. The grocer sold the grocery at lower prices. Now in this sentence, helping verb is not present. So we will see the main verb that is sold. Sold is the past form of verb. So we will insert here did sell. And the sentence will be the grocer did sell the grocery at lower prices. Now we will place did in the beginning and insert question mark at the end for changing this sentence into interrogative. And the sentence will be did the grocer sell the grocery at lower prices? Question mark. See the third example also. She refuses to visit her aunt. Now in this sentence. Refuses is the main verb and helping verb is also not present in this sentence. So we will see refuses. It is the present form of verb. So we will insert here does as helping verb. And the sentence will be she does refuse to visit her aunt. Now we will place does in the beginning and insert question mark at the end. And the sentence interrogative will be. Does she refuse to visit her aunt? Question mark. Students, you have to remember the format while changing an assertive sentence into an interrogative. Like, when the sentence begins with question word, the format will be question word, like what, who, whose, and others, plus helping verb, plus subject, plus main verb plus object and at the end question mark when the sentence is beginning with helping verb the format will be helping verb like is am are can could and others plus subject plus main verb plus object and at the end question mark but today we will learn How to change an interrogative sentence into an assertive sentence or statements. Observe the following sentences. Is it sunny outside? Has she done her work? Was she with her friends outside? Can I go to home today? So students, all of these are interrogative sentences as these are beginning with helping verbs, ending with question mark. And a question is being asked in all of them. So how we will convert these sentences into assertive sentences or simple statements? We will convert these sentences into simple statements by placing helping verb after the subject in the sentence and then replace the question mark with the full stop in the sentence. Like, See the first sentence, is it sunny outside? Now which helping verb is present in this sentence? Is is present in this sentence in the beginning. So we will place is after the subject that is it in this sentence and replace question mark with full stop and the sentence will be it is sunny outside full stop. The second example. Has she done her work? Now has is the helping verb in this sentence and it is beginning with the helping verb. Has will be placed after the subject that is she in this sentence and question mark will be replaced with full stop and the sentence will be she has done her work full stop. Look at one more example. Was she with her friends outside? Now, was is the helping verb in this sentence 
and it is placed in the beginning so we will place was after the subject that is she in this sentence and replace question mark with the full stop and the statement will be she was with her friends outside full stop see the next example also can i go to home today now which is the helping verb here can and the sentence is beginning with the helping verb so we will place can after the subject that is i in this sentence and replace question mark with the full stop and the statement will be i can go to home today full stop further we will understand that how to change an interrogative sentence into a statement or an assertive sentence with do does or did observe the following sentences does nikhil know how to play cricket do we go to the market every day did the doctor tell us to eat apple every day did rakesh eat the last donut does your family try to cheer you up when you are feeling low now these sentences are beginning with do does or did we have to convert these interrogative sentences into simple statements or assertive sentences like does nikhil know how to play cricket now does is the helping verb here so we have to place does after the subject that is nikhil in this sentence and the sentence will be nikhil does know how to play cricket students always remember whenever does plus present form of verb is given like does tell it will be changed to tells and tells will be with s whenever did plus present form of verb is given it will be changed to past that is did sell will be changed to sold and whenever do plus present form of verb is given like do go it will be changed to go and it will be without do do is always given with the plural subject like now in this sentence does know is given it will be changed to knows and does will be removed s will be added with no and the statement will be nikhil knows how to play cricket question mark will be replaced with full stop see the second example also do we go to the market every day now we is the plural subject here so we have added do as the helping verb in the beginning we will first place do after the subject that is we and the sentence will be we do go to the market every day now for making it into statement or assertive we have to remove do and the sentence will be we go to the market every day question mark will be replaced with full stop see the third example also did the doctor tell us to eat apple every day now did is the helping verb in this sentence so we have to first place did after the subject and the subject in this sentence is the doctor the sentence will be did the doctor did, the doctor did tell us to eat apple every day now did tell we have to change it into told and the statement will be the doctor told us to eat apple every day question mark will be replaced with full stop did rakesh eat the last donut now did is the helping verb here we have to place did after the subject that is rakesh and the sentence will be rakesh did eat the last donut now for in simple statement did eat will be changed to ate that is past form and the sentence will be rakesh ate the last donut question mark will be replaced with full stop understand with one more example 
Does your family try to cheer you up when you are feeling low? Now this sentence is beginning with does that is helping verb. We have to first place does after the subject. Your family is the subject here. So the sentence will be your family does try to cheer you up when you are feeling low. Now does try will be changed to tries and we have to add s or es with the present form of verb and remove does and the statement will be your family tries to cheer you up when you are feeling low so today we have learned that how to change an interrogative sentence into an assertive sentence or a statement like can i go to home today it is an interrogative sentence as helping verb is placed in the beginning and question mark is inserted at the end. So we will place helping verb after the subject that is I in this sentence and replace question mark with a full stop and the sentence assertive or statement will be I can go to home today full stop. So students I hope you all are understood with the chapter. Now follow the schedule in the snack homework and solve the exercises. Thank you.